it's like I'm actually making hundreds of mini pieces of art that are going to then come together for the big piece. So in a way, I'm doing triple, quadruple, quintuple the work of the average artist. But at the same time, if you're going to make an art revolution, you got to be willing to do some crazy stuff. And I've never shied away from crazy. In fact, anything outside of crazy bores me. Find art that's going to, you're going to look at it and it's going to put you in a mood for the day so that you do whatever you do so much better than you would before you were in that mood. That's what artists should be doing, inspiring the world, inspiring people to be the best version of themselves. I spray painted each one of these. First I cut them, then I sanded them, then I spray painted them. Several different colors, like three or four different colors. Then I went back with white and I put white over every single tile, smeared it in a certain spot. Then I went back and I put black over a different spot. Now I'm coming back and I'm putting blue in between and smearing that in. But then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do some red, I'm gonna do some violet, some green, some copper. Maybe not on all of them, it'll be different, but then we'll put them all together. It's probably be one piece. I want all of this energy to be shown when you look at it on the wall. I'm enjoying every bit of how these colors blend. I have no idea exactly how each one is gonna look until I put the color on and then I'm like, oh, man, I wish I did this earlier. When you start doing your passion and you find that you're saying to yourself, I wish I did this earlier, then you know you've hit the right thing. I love the edges too. I love the fact that it's 3D. I love the fact that the edges... I'll even go around the back. I'm probably not even going to use the back. You won't even see the back. The back will be glued onto something. It doesn't matter. If you come around, you can find see under the edge as best you can. I want you to see color everywhere you look. I like that's why I sometimes I paint the backs of my pieces. Find your therapeutic endeavor. I can do this all day. It's therapeutic for me. I can do this, I can relax, I can put on some music. I can do it in silence. I could do it in dim light. I can do it in bright light. It relaxes me. It doesn't really drain me. It kind of feeds me. Find your activity that feeds you. The one you can go to to be like, ah. Oh. Because if you don't find an activity that feeds you, you're going to find a vice, an addiction, something less positive that will feed you. If you don't find a, a, a healthy outlet for your passions, your desires, you're going to find, you're going to try to fill it with food or drink or sleep. So, you know, you ask me, do you want to sleep or do you want to rub some paint onto some wood tiles? I'd rather do this than sleep. I could do this if I'm falling, I could be falling asleep and, and do this until I pass out and then wake up for a couple seconds and go right back to it because I, I don't have to push myself. I love doing this. But sometimes I forget that I love it and I get caught up in the day. I get caught up in life and I don't get to it for days and I'm unhappy. I'm like, why am I unhappy? And then food is like, oh, because you need me. And sleep is like, oh, because you didn't get enough of me. Nah, it's not true. It's not true. I need, you need to find your passion. Each of these is my little babies. My little babies send them out into the world. You can dress them up, make them look all cute in every way. Send them out into the world so people can admire What do you do when you're laying in bed and you don't want to do anything else? What's the one thing you still will do because you love it that much? That's what you want to be doing a lot of. That's what you want to be really, you know, investigating, pushing yourself into. Also the contrasts of life. I like showing the contrasts in the pieces. I started out with a plain base like this with some green and, and red. And then I, th I threw in the white. The white really brightens it up. I push, I overdid the white, and then I came in with the black from the other side. Now I'm putting a medium tone, but a pretty tone, this really nice blue. This flatho blue is like such a bright blue. It has a tiny, tiny touch of green in it, tiny touch of yellow. So it's like a really bright blue. I love it. It's the tiniest touch of a turquoise in it. And, uh, but it's a medium tone, and it's like life. Like, you don't get to experience the real dark unless you have the real light. 
and then that's what makes the medium so pretty. It's like you don't get to experience the deepest sleep unless you put yourself through the hardest work. You know, people, all these sleep aids like, oh, take this pill, get this mattress, you'll sleep better. You know what's the best way to sleep well? Work your ass off when you're awake. If you work your ass off when you're awake, you will sleep like a baby when it's time to sleep. If you want to experience these beautiful hues, blues, blue hues, make your whites white and make your blacks black and then the medium colors in between come out. Make your sleep deep and make your work hard. I don't mean hard like it's painful. I mean hard like throw your whole self into it. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid. Use all your energy up during the day. That's when you sleep. If you can't sleep at nights because you haven't used up all your energy and your body's like, whoa, you still have some energy left. Why don't you do more work? And you're like, but it's not time. It's too late. I can't do work. Well, you were supposed to do the work when it was time to do it. You didn't throw in all your energy. Now you got all this excess energy and your mind is racing. And it's time to go to sleep. This is your life. This is your passion. Make your life shine the brightest when you can and face the darkest fears. And then all the medium tones will just be that much more popping. Popping! It will pop. And sometimes I'll blend these with my fingers. Sometimes I'll just leave them the way they are. You know? Variety. Variety and yet, at the same time, uniformity. I'm using the same colors. I have the same thickness of wood. The same general type shapes. These straight lined, kind of triangular, trapezoidal shapes. So there's a lot of uniformity here, but then there's a lot of variation from piece to piece. And I'm going to add more too, because I'm going to throw in these other colors here and there. Not, not every piece is going to get every color, but the blue, every piece might get a little blue because of this blue is just so gorgeous. I mean, how can you resist? We'll see. It's funny, each of these a little separate piece of art. It's all going into one big piece, but when I do my blocks, I make each piece like a separate piece of art. I put those out for everybody and everybody gets one. So everybody can have a little tiny piece, but then the people who really want to own a big piece can get one of these finished ones that has hundreds of little pieces within it. The little ones I give away for free. You find them on the street, wherever I end up leaving them, wherever anybody leaves them for me. It's fun. Everybody gets a little piece of the art. You can find a piece. You can uh, ask me for a piece. Come up, find me, ask me for a block of my art. If I have one on me, I'll give it to you. And then if you want to get a really, really big one, then, you know, you arrange that. We'll work that out. But everybody, from wherever they're coming from, whatever walk of life, gets something. I want to give something to everybody. I like to, even if I'm all I'm doing is stopping to get coffee and saying to the woman who's making the coffee, Something that'll make her smile. Just tell her her hair looks nice. Tell her I like that shirt. Tell her her eyes look pretty. Give a little something to every little person. And you become stronger. It's like the universe feeds you more than you're feeding them. You make them feel good. You might make them feel good for weeks, but it makes you feel good too. It's mutually beneficial. Nobody loses. How many things in life can you say where nobody, nobody loses? There's no cost. There's no cost. Just saying, saying a nice little thing to someone, leaving everybody feeling a little bit happier, a little bit better. There is no downturn, no downside to that. It's all good. Not everybody's going to like this art. Not everybody's going to be like, this is the art I want to hang in my living room. But I hope everybody is going to look at this and say, at the very least, that's different. That's all I want. That's all I want. I want everybody to look at this and say, that's different. Have there been people who did 3D wall art before me? Of course. But have there been people who did 3D wall art quite like this? I don't know. I've never seen it that I can think. And if they are, if there are, apparently they're not. I'm not aware of them, so there's room for me. There's always room for more. Always room for more goodness in the world. Don't feel like there's not enough room for you. Your voice 
not only is there room for you, there's room for everything you got, everything you can possibly give. There's plenty of room for and then some. The world needs more of you, not less. Don't ever think that you're giving too much. Don't ever think you're putting out too much. Don't ever think, I'm going to bore people. I'm going to give, you know. The more you practice, the more you put yourself out there, the better you get at your delivery, the better you get at whatever you do. So put yourself out there. Do stuff. Don't just consume media. Make things. Add to the beauty of the world. You can never add enough. You can never add enough beauty to the world. There's always the hunger, the desperation, the, the, the need of people to feel inspired is unending. If everybody on earth was fully inspired, it would be a lot less people doing stuff to hurt others, you know? People do stuff to hurt others a lot of times out of desperation because they're not inspired, they're not feeling, they don't feel like they have anything to contribute positively. The world can always use more of you, more of what you have to give. You can't outgive the need. The need is so deep. Just give as much as you can and enjoy every minute of it. The key is to do something you enjoy. Don't, don't be giving in ways that drain you. Give in ways that where you feel like you have more at the end. Then you can keep giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And giving. So you pass out from exhaustion because you gave so much and then you wake up and you do it again. And sometimes you need variety. As beautiful as these tiles are, I'm getting really tired of just adding blue to each one after the, like, hundredth tile. So, I need a break. I'll take a break. I'll go do something else. Go paint something. Go stand on something. Go cut something out of wood. Go talk to someone on the phone. You need variety. You need to mix it up. And then you come back to this fresh and ready to do more. Like, I'm excited to add some new color now. I think I'm going to do the copper. I was going to do the red next. I think I'm going to do the copper next. It's going to be fun. Get that brush. And the funny thing is, when I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed, like too much, too little, how much should I add of each color? Take a break. I take some of my leftover paints and I just have fun on these blocks because these blocks are just going to go out all over the place and this is where I experiment. This is where I just have fun. I don't stress. I don't worry because everybody's, if you get a free block, you're not going to be like, who? this isn't what I paid for. This isn't exactly what I was looking for. This is, you're going to be like, wow, a cool, colorful block that I got for free. That I woke up today. I never thought I was going to get a little tiny piece of art for free. So I can just use up the extra paint on these guys, experiment a little, and that's where I get some of my best ideas that then go into the real, not the real, but the bigger pieces of art. Having fun with these blocks here. That's the beauty of giving stuff away for free. When you're selling stuff, you stress about making it just right. But when you're giving stuff away for free, you don't stress because you figure, hey, I'm giving this away for free, so you have fun. And when you're having fun, that's when you do some of your best work. So it's kind of wild the way that works. The more you give, again, the more you get back in return. The more you are given, 